You are listening to TF Talk News, part of the TF Talk network of podcasts and live streams, where we give you the most relevant current stories in your fandom and more, all within 30 quick minutes or less. I'm your host, Mr. Starstream, and I'll be your guide to everything worth talking about that transformed since last episode. It's your old buddy, Starstream. I am the new leader of the Decepticons. I'm now. Discover more of our great shows at tftalk.net and follow us on social media channels at TFYLP. Wow, how about that snazzy new intro, huh? Our new music is brought to you by musical artist Surrender. You can check out the music featured in this and future episodes by visiting surrender-official.bandcamp.com and check out all the current and future releases. Thank you, Surrender, for allowing us to use their sweet music. Well, another week of extreme boredom has culminated in this week's episode of TF Talk News. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget, you can always send us listener feedback to be read on the air by emailing tftalknews at tftalk.net. As far as reveals this week, there wasn't too much. But in Japan, Figure King Magazine issue number 266 included a smorgasbord of Earthrise Skylinks photographs, showcasing all the features of our second Amazing Commander class transforming figure. This toy has tons of Earthrise modulator connector ramps, including one that makes an entrance ramp from underneath the links. This toy really appears to be a slavish upgrade to the original G1 toy, with the added bonus of a base mode. Along with all the other imminent releases, we got another look at the upcoming Quintesson Alicon, which sports that bright pink deco that may or may not be exclusive to the Japanese Takara Tomi Mall exclusive release of this toy. Another more mysterious reveal is the discovery of the Earthrise Mode 2 pack, listing on Amazon Germany. The release date is July 1st, and the price is around $65. There's no further information, but if you may recall from our inaugural Toy Fair episode, another Amazon listing for the Seeker 2-pack was discovered previously in Amazon Canada's listing. Could this be the same item? My spidey senses are telling me yes, but my body is telling me probably. Keep your eyes peeled for further information in these trying times. Other in-hand images are coming from the Far East of the Generation Selects 4-pack of cassettes and Studio Series Scrapper and Sentinel Prime. All of these toys should be arriving on the shelf soon, so hopefully they will be plentiful as soon as it seems a little safer to crack that front door and go on a toy hunt again. Until then, there really isn't much new on the shelf. Except for my favorite duck hunting pal, MP10 DC Duck Camo Convoy. After ringing alarm bells for the past few weeks about this high-priced exclusive, it turns out that getting a hold of it was far less of a chore than I expected. The Atmos Tokyo website launched this item on March 26th, and to my chagrin, it was simply available for purchase with a quick click or two. Let me reiterate this. Atmos Tokyo is shipping this item to U.S. buyers. It can easily be yours for a total of around 220 U.S. freedom bucks. I really can't believe it, folks. These toys are typically impossible to get from the source at regular retail. And as of this recording, it is still in stock. It may have something to do with complications from selling it in stores due to COVID-19, or maybe they just made about 10,000 of them. Who knows? You'll need to be able to navigate some sort of translation services to complete the purchase, but head on over to atmos-tokyo.com to pick up this toy for yourself while you still can. One last item to note is that the Flame Toys Furi Model Kit Devastator has been released. This larger than usual model kit represents a highly stylized version of Devastator as a standalone character. I got mine and am planning to piece it together as soon as this shoestring operation of a podcast gets uploaded. More about third party news and some feel good reporting after this word from our sponsors.
Have you experienced Big Ten Robot toys and collectibles? If not, you need to know about their incredible selection of vintage and modern toys, spanning all genres across five decades. Not just boys' toys, but girls' toys too. Big Ten Robot X models, but they maintain fair pricing and fast but careful shipping services. Just between you and me, their secret weapon is one of the most knowledgeable toy minds in the business. New items are added daily to the inventory, so there's new stuff to see every time you visit the site. Speaking of the site, you can find it by going to bit.ly slash Big Tin Robot. That's B-I-T dot L-Y slash Big Tin Robot, all one word. Big Tin Robot Toys and Collectibles, the robot workshop where our worker bots rebuild the joys of yesteryear. Cleaning, sorting, and prepping used toys for sale. Bitly slash Big Tin Robot. Don't forget to use coupon code Mr. Starscream when checking out at Big Tin Robot to get 10% off of your order. This deal applies to any and all items available on Big Tin Robot dot toys. You want a bot with pay? Pay with your sparks. I also accept all major credit downloads. If you've already had a chance to check out the New Age Seeker toy, then you already know that it is remarkable in a lot of ways. Seeker fans that miss this mold have a few more chances to check it out with a variety of new decos of this toy. These include the H13D Hoder, which is a redeco in the vein of the 2001 reissue Black Starscream redeco. It is a black and gold paint scheme and also includes extra parts like a black coronation cape and a piece of the space bridge. There's also a golden lagoon version of this toy and a variety of upcoming characters like a sunstorm, acid storm, and hotlink deco. Also a ghost lucifer for those that need a little more see-through in their lives. All of these are currently up for pre-order at the usual suspects. So in some non-toy news, I'd like to take some time to point out a few notable creative endeavors that I came across this week while being caged up inside. If you need something to take your mind off current events, you can take a trip into Transformerland and enjoy some much needed eye candy to calm your nerves. First off, if you have a Twitter account, you should be following Derek J. Wyatt, the famed art director of the beloved Transformers animated series. This week, he's been taking a second look at Shattered Glass and supplying everyone with some new evil animated Autobots and heroic Decepticons. Samples of a potential SG Megatron and a bunch of animated Seekers that resembled Auto Troopers have hit his Twitter account, which is at Derek J. Wyatt. That's D-E-R-R-I-C-K-J-W-Y-A-T-T. There's plenty more, like G2 Stunicons and some other deep cuts. Be sure to give him a follow and see everything he's been sharing in the past week. Also on Twitter is some high-level Transformers G1 cartoon comedy by Twitter user at Drivar. That's D-R-I-V-A-A-R. He's taken it upon himself to expand the G1 Autobot roster to include everyone's new favorite, Sound Barrier. If you want to see the real story on how Optimus defeated Megatron at the Battle of Autobot City, you'll want to see Drivar's clever re-edits of this classic scene. I don't want to spoil it, so give Drivar a follow to see for yourselves. Another mystery of Transformers history was put into the case closed category this week with a revelation shared by Transformers author and historian Jim Sorensen. Jim has a knack for acquiring one-of-a-kind production art assets for his variety of books, and last Tuesday he posted a doozy, unreleased character art for an unproduced all-black Generation 2 Seeker, pod missiles and all. This isn't the first time the fandom at large has seen this image or its prototype toy. It has previously been identified as Black Death Starscream, since those words were intended as a decal as seen on the prototype discovered in China a decade ago. What's notable about this particular reemergence of the box art is that it has a name scribbled along the bottom of the page, and that name is Blackout. Yes, fembots and gentle cons, years before his appearance in the Bayverse, Blackout was going to have a chance to shed his little-known Micromaster origin and take up ranks with the Decepticon Seekers. What could have been? 
If you're unfamiliar with this particular unreleased toy, do a few searches for G2 Sandstorm or Black Death Starscream and get yourself a glimpse of what could have been. At least now I don't have to track down that prototype someday to add it to my Starscream collection. Thanks, Mr. Sorison, for putting my OCD back in the icebox. Well, that's it for this week's news. Thanks for hanging in there and expect the regular weekly schedule for all your favorite TF Talk Network shows this week, starting with live TFYLP tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. Central. Time to spend a few hours building this damn devastator. Toodaloo! The TF Talk Network exists due to the efforts of an enthusiastic collection of Transformers fans across North America and beyond. Check out our variety of shows like Microcasters, Ouch My Wallet, Cut the Tape, and our flagship show featuring a rotating all-star cast, TFYLP, which has been running for over 10 years. The cast at the TF Talk Network is always growing, so if you have a desire to participate, reach out to us via any of our social platforms at TFYLP. The TF Talk cast is on Discord. You can join us for free by typing bit.ly slash TF Talk Discord in the browser of your choice. Intro and outro score provided by Surrender. You can find Surrender at surrender-official.bandcamp.com. Directly support our shows and keep us on the air by becoming a monetary supporter of TFYLP on Patreon. Donations through Patreon are used to cover production and server expenses that keep our shows running and are not distributed to individual staff members. If you have any comments or feedback, you can directly email the show at tftalknews at tftalk.net, and we'd love to read some of your comments on the air. And if you've got a hot news tip, send it my way! The comments and views expressed by Mr. Starscream do not necessarily reflect the views of the TF Talk Network, Hasbro, or any fleshling-based entity, but once I take over this measly planet, they sure will. <laughs>